Hey guys, got another video for today. Um, today we're going to discuss prone weapons um, and why they shouldn't have been in Battlefield 5 and why they shouldn't be in future Battlefield games as well. So I'm just going to go straight into it. And firstly, it, you know, it upsets the balance of the game. And what I mean by that is the balance to visibility of that everybody is in the standing position, you know, easily v visible, you know who the who the enemy is, who isn't. In an FPS, you know, everybody's on equal terms, you know, visible standing soldier, you know, everybody has the same walking speed, everybody has the same sprinting speed, you know, the use of a slide, you know, the, the same weapon mechanics, so in ADS, you're more accurate, hip fire, you know, less so. Um, Everybody has to reload, blah de blah. So you know what I'm trying to say is, you know, there's there's a balance to the game where everybody is equal. Now here's the problem or the issue when people are in the prone position, you know, it, it messes with the fairness of the game. You know, they're 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 not easily visible, like I would be in a standing position. You know, like pushing objectives, defending obje objectives. You know, they're not easily visible as everybody else is. And it affects the balance of visibility of players. When everybody is standing up, visible, and there's players that are prone, not as visible as everybody else, it, it just seems unfair. The prone character models, when viewed head on, is is a lot smaller and they're very hard to see. And um, by by being prone and not standing, they're not making themselves known visually, or visually letting the opponents know that they are there. I'm talking in like a, a game sense sort of way, like um, player models and that sort of thing, because they're smaller and harder to see. So when I come around a corner, in theory, I, I should see them, they should see me, you know, whatever happens, happens, you know, down to aim or positioning, you know, or whatever. But, you know, that, that that's that's not the case, you know, you you don't know that they are there sometimes because they're so hard to see. But they can see me, you know, and that's that's the unfairness, um, and it's not an equal playing field, and, and that's essentially the problem. I hope I'm making sense. It's it, it's a minor thing that I've never really thought about it until I've played Battlefield Five. But you know, when you think about it deeper, it's it's a huge thing, and, and it's important in a game. You know, I'm here visible, you're here visible. You know, let, let's compete for the flag. You know, that's how it should be. But but prone players interrupt that, you know, which I think affects gameplay negatively. In Battlefield 5, you know, it, it makes the issue even worse because um, Battlefield 5's just general poor visibility. Um, the, the the down mechanic, for example, or, you know, or waiting for what revives, you know, the player models moving about, you know, it's hard to see who is prone, who's a, like active player, I would say, or who isn't. Um, you know, coupled with the fact of the, the, the TTK with these weapons, these prone weapons, you know, they're, they're one shot or they have a high rate of fire, 200 round mags, you know, no recoil. And, it, you know, the gunplay in Battlefield 5, you know, it, it, it suits more defensive play. Um, so, so, you know, there's no real outplay for the against these prone players as an offensive player, you know, pushing objectives, you know, this is unique for Battlefield and, you know, it only amplifies the issue in, say, another game where, you know, prone wouldn't be such of an issue, but, you know, it's worth mentioning that in Battlefield 5, it, it makes the prone play style, it just makes it even worse. Two final points is, again, you know, unique to Battlefield and, and, and how Battlefield plays, you know, prone weapons just don't belong in Battlefield. In my opinion, you know, playing the objective, capping, defending flags, you know, helping teammates with heals, reviving, giving ammo, getting kills, you know, that, that's that's what Battlefield's about. Um, and I'm sorry, you know, hiding in a corner, getting one one or two kills and then dying, you know, I, I don't see that as an enjoyable experience and I don't see that as, as the like, definitive Battlefield experience. Um, yeah, and so, and, and lastly... You know, it's it's just a very toxic play style. Or, you know, in Battlefield 5, it's it's used for toxicity. Um, players just hiding, in, just hiding in wait, just purely to be an annoyance. 
um, you know, it, it, which creates frustration and toxicity in the game. Um, you know, there's, no, there's just no need for it. You know, I've I've had over my years playing Battlefield, now I've had the unfortunate, unfortunate ness. I don't know. I don't know if that's a word. You know, in the past on console and PC, you know, to to be the on the receiving end of just players lying in wait just to kill just to only kill me or or target other players and you know I've seen it um I've seen it a lot so I mean you know that's, that's a few points about why it shouldn't be again but in the game but I think you know that the main reason is is just visibility um it's unfair you know it's just it's just the balance of the game and it is that's why essentially it shouldn't be in the game and that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed you know let me know what you think do you think do you agree with me disagree with me um you know let me know um thank you for watching and i'll see you boys in the next one